Food webs are networks that describe who eats whom among species within natural habitats. Take, for example, an island in the Caribbean. We portray these networks by using spheres to represent the species found in the food web and by using long skinny cones to represent the feeding relationships between these species. At the base of these networks are species such as plants that use sunlight to combine water and carbon dioxide to make food on which all other species depend. These plants, along with many different types of animals, make up interdependent networks whose diversity and complexity have puzzled scientists for decades. One type of animal includes herbivores who eat only plants. Another type includes carnivores who eat only other animals. Yet another type is omnivores. They eat both plants and animals. Instead of huge population outbreaks or rare species going extinct, nature seems to maintain an almost magical balance where species continue to dynamically change abundance without losing balance and falling into an ecological collapse. The dynamics of species in this simulation, as well as the corresponding two-dimensional graph, illustrate changes in each species abundance over time. The size of each cone in the simulation illustrates the feeding rate by the species at the fat end of the cone eating the species at the pointed end of the cone. Recently, scientists have made several breakthroughs that help explain how nature keeps all these species together relatively free of ecological catastrophes. Our computer mathematical models that drive 3D visualizations have enabled us to better understand how particular details of the network maintain a dynamic balance of nature. Such details include nuances of the network structure and feeding behavior, as well as the diversity and body sizes of species at different trophic levels. Continuing this research, scientists hope to successfully predict the consequences of invasions by alien species and also consequences of extinctions due to biodiversity loss. These are two huge environmental problems that cost us billions of dollars and increasingly threaten ecological stability. Consider the island food web visualized here. Notice the parasite consuming the omnivorous lizard that eats both plants and animals. What would happen if the parasite went extinct, perhaps due to the mass use of insecticides to eliminate other pests? This simulation suggests that the lizard's population could grow and cause it to eat more of its many prey species, and in turn leave less food for other species as well as the species that depend on those other species. After a while, the local extinction of the parasite alters the balance of the ecosystem and causes an ecological collapse of the food web. This collapse occurs when many of the species within the food web go extinct. In this simulation, the deletion of one parasite species causes the extinction of over half the species in the web. The better we understand such possibilities, the better we can avoid similar collapses in the many ecosystems that all humans depend on for the air we breathe and the food we eat.